Hey, what's up and welcome! To live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and everything technology related. Uh, today was Macworld, as the topic says. Macworld 2009. Uh, Steve Jobs did not do the uh, keynote. Uh, said Phil Schiller did. And, you know, it was an okay Macworld. You know, look, Steve Jobs is amazing at doing the keynote. He just, the way he presents the, the himself and, the, and what they're bringing out is just, I don't know, something about it just makes it so much better than it actually is. Maybe it's just Steve Jobs. But anyway, Phil Schiller, uh, he did a pretty good job. Now look. What they announced were three things. They announced the new iLife 09, uh, the iWork.com, and the new 17-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, look, I, I want to talk a little about a little bit about these these items, um, what I think about them. Uh, you know, maybe talk a little about the rumors that were going on, and also a little of the fiasco that was ha that happened today with Mac uh, Rumors Live, and also um, well, basically Mac Rumors Live. And the whole 4chan thing that was going on. Cra crazy stuff. But let's get to the good stuff right now. Uh, first of all, the MacBook Pro 17-inch new model. Unibody. Uh, no, uh, no removable battery. But look, if you're getting 8 plus hours on that thing, 7 with the, with the 9600 GT in there, I don't care. 7 hours on a laptop, that's, that's good. Uh, that's amazing. Um, I, would, I would take that over the removable battery any day. Chances are, if anything were to happen, uh, you get the Apple Care with it, and you get it replaced. Um, no, no biggie. So I wouldn't worry too much about the removable battery. Apple seems to be moving that way a lot with their products lately. But look, if it makes them smaller and and improves battery life, then that's cool with me. So I really don't have a problem with that. Uh, the anti glare screen for the extra fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. I wish it was a little cheaper, maybe twenty five. But you know, either way, um, not bad. The pricing on, look, they have a, uh, what was it, $900 for the 256 gigabyte solid state drive. A little steep. Of course, the RAM is another 1200 for 8 gigs. Buy the RAM elsewhere, people. Um, OWC, Other World Computing, cheap, good Apple RAM certified. And it works just fine. I have some in my Mac Pro right now. Don't buy the RAM from Apple. Uh, do, and don't buy the baseline hard drive for if you get a new MacBook. Get at least a 7200 RPM drive. At least. And that's one step up, I believe. I forgot how much that. I think it's like a hundred, maybe fifty dollar upgrade. I forgot exactly what the number is. Um, but you have to do it. Don't get the fifty four hundred RPM drive. Do not. Too slow for a machine like that. You're gonna. Don't do it. Um, the uh, the new iLife 09 looks really cool. I haven't pre ordered mine yet, but I think I'm gonna have to do that shortly. Um, the new iPhoto with faces and places. That rhymes. Um, where you can basically tag people. Um, by their face and it auto recognizes them in the future. It looks sweet um, It worked well in the keynote, but of course that's the keynote how well it works in real life We'll have to wait and find out but I would assume it would work just as well And I hope it does because that looks really really cool Places another geotagging type thing you can do with Flickr and now that you can automatically upload the Flickr and other websites like Facebook very neat I like that a lot uh, What else the geotagging we talked about? The uh, faces and places we talked about. The new iMovie looks really cool. I didn't get to see much of that, but it looks like it's going to be amazing. Um, so I think I'm going to have to definitely going to be one of the things I'm going to be reviewing as soon as we get the iLife 09 in here. Uh, iWork.com looks pretty cool. Uh, in terms of, you know, you can sh collaborate, share, and upload uh, your documents and whatnot. Good stuff. I like it. Another thing I liked was the new garage band looks Phenomenal, phenomenal! Look at this. Now that they're now that what they're doing is Apple has teamed up with artists with GarageBand, and now that they're giving lessons, you can download and get lessons by them. I don't know. I don't know the specific pricing, but I was sure it's probably you know somewhere along the lines of three, two, maybe ninety nine cents, two dollars, three dollars, something like that. Probably reasonably priced, and you can download these lessons from like. Patrick Stump of Fall Out Boy, John Fogarty of Creedence Clearwater Revival, you know, all these different guys and bands and artists have put together tutorials almost with them. It's video 
and it has like the you know you could they show you how to play their songs. It looks so cool. If if anything, it's worth just getting Garage oh, iPhone Nine just for GarageBand. That looks awesome. Of course, iPhoto and iMovie is going to be awesome too. But <sighs> I think I talked too much for a second. All right, it, the software looks cool. iWork.com. I'm not sure how. How much I'll probably use that. I'm not sure how many, you know, look, it's good for if you have to share files and you want to do easy um, sharing and things like that, it's probably good for that. Man, I'm, you know, this, now I'm thinking about the keynote. I was going to come in and say the keynote was, eh, it was okay. Um, you know, I, I wish there was, you know, a new Mac minis. That really, that's really what they have to upgrade. But aside from that, the keynote was good. And here's the last part, the one last thing, not one more thing. But one last thing, iTunes, and I want to talk a little bit about this in, um, right now. iTunes is now going completely DRM free. Eight million songs are right now DRM free. The rest, the 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 rest, the other two million will be DRM free by the end of the quarter, this quarter. Okay, great news. I'm really psyched about this. DRM free is definitely the way to go. DRM sucks. Put it that way. But. If you have purchased DRM songs from iTunes in the in the past before today, in order to get them DRM free, here's the kicker: you have to pay thirty cents per track to get them DRM free. So you have to repay for something you already bought. Thirty cents, not ninety nine cents, but thirty cents. Come on, now I'm, no, look, I'm guessing that's not Apple's fault. I'm guessing here. It was more of um, the, the labels coming and saying, look, we want to have some, look, we need some kind of, you know, tax, if you will, to, you know, make up a little bit of the lost money. Uh, just to reassure ourselves that we're going to be doing okay. Come on. Come on. If you, you, look, I'm not going to get too much into it, but that's kind of a pain in the butt, if you know what I mean. And also, they're going to have three different tires of pricing. They're going to have the 69 cents, 99 cents, and 129 uh, they say a lot of the songs are going to be 69 cents. We'll have to wait and see for that. Um, but I'm hoping they are. That's pretty good. So, you know, I'm, we'll see how, it, we'll see how it rolls out in the coming months, but I'm really excited for this new stuff. I really wish there was new Mac minis cause I was actually thinking about getting one, but it seems like they never update those things. Come on, Apple. Come on. Update the Mac mini. Don't, if you're going to drop it, drop it, but don't just leave it there. Un updated. It pisses me off. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the, the new, the, the Phil Note, the Macworld, the keynote done by Phil Schiller today. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments on the blog post or in the YouTube, the YouTube video. Curious to know what you guys think about uh, the new products coming out by Apple. If you're going to use them, if you're an Apple user, if not, that's cool. What do you think? If, and if you're not an Apple user, what do you think um, the equivalent is on the Windows side? Because I'll be willing to share that too if you have any thoughts on that. Because really, if you think about it, Windows, the, the software on Windows for these creativity kind of programs, if you will, uh, not nearly as good, not, ne not even close. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been live.bestaker. We'll see you next time. And remember, remember, take care of your computers.